Hello everyone and welcome back. In our previous classes, we have seen that how to make the shear force in bending moment diagram. This is a class where we are going to take a problem and we will solve the entire problem for shear force and bending moment, especially for a cantilever beam with point load and uniformly distributed load. In previous class, we have seen the bending moment and shear force diagram for problem where we have a cantilever beam and point loads or a cantilever beam where we are having the uniformly distributed load or we have also seen a problem of mixed loading so this is a pure example solving class where we will take this example here it is a cantilever beam and we are having three loads 20 newton 18 newton and 10 newton these three are the point load and we are also having a uniformly distributed load of intensity 8 newton per meter this is the problem statement and let's try to make the shear force and bending moment diagram before i start sign conventions are like that if the load is downward the shear force will be negative if the load is upward the shear force will be positive similarly for the bending moment if the sense of the moment is clockwise the bending moment will be negative if the sense of moment is counterclockwise the bending moment will be positive so for this problem first we will make the shear force diagram and then sequentially we will see the bending moment diagram assume that this is point a point b point c and point d i am going to start my shear force diagram from point d and then i will move from d to c c to b b to a so first let's write the shear force for point d now you have to recall the concept that if you are having a point load how you consider the shear force please remember if you have a point load at a point and you are interested to get the shear force of that point the point load will come directly into the picture that means in this case this is a 10 newton force so that at point d the shear force will be what it will be of magnitude 10 and what would be the sign as i say as i said before that the downward load will be negative shear force so it will be negative 10 value let's draw the shear force distribution simultaneously so this is my beam and at point d the shear force is of magnitude 10 so let's make a downward line and define that this is of magnitude 10 when i am moving from d to c there is no any additional load as there is no additional load the shear force will remain same shear force between the region d to c will remain constant and the magnitude will be of minus 10 so i am going to consider a horizontal line up to point c and the magnitude at c will remain only 10 when i will reach at point c suddenly i will find another load of magnitude 18 newton that means when i am reaching at point c shear force will become minus 10 because of the first load as well as the minus 18 value because the second load is also in my consideration and the magnitude of shear force will become minus 28 newton so at point c I am going to add another 18 newton load and that will also be in the downward direction because the uh, convention says that the downward load shear force will be negative and this is of magnitude 18 newton beyond c this is a uniformly distributed load so whenever we are having a uniformly distributed load we need to first consider a distance x and then we will write the expression of shear force for distance x and this x is valid for c to b region please remember this is conventional method whenever you will have a uniformly distributed load and you are making the shear force diagram you need to first write the expression for the x shear force minus 10 will be there at this point minus 18 will be there at this point in addition to that this much load will also come into the picture and what would be the magnitude of this much load the intensity multiplied by this distance only so this distance is total distance x minus 3 so i am going to add this 8 is the intensity of load and the distance of the load is what x minus 3 this is the expression for the shear force at distance x between c to b 
when i am reaching at point b the same expression is valid so at b my x will become what 3 plus 4 7 so when i will put this x is equal to 7 in this expression the total value will become what minus 10 minus 18 minus 32 it will be minus 60. so from point c to point b the shear force is not actually constant it is a function of x and increasing gradually so i will make a line in this way and the magnitude when i am reaching at point b will be what it will be minus 60. as i will reach at point d suddenly there will be next load of 20 newton 20 newton so as we have seen in case of point c similarly at point b the 20 newton is also going to be at so i will first say that the shear force at point b will be what minus 60 minus 20 it will be minus 80 please understand this is also an expression of shear force and but that is actually written for the distance c to b and this expression is valid at point b also when i am reaching at b itself this 20 newton is also coming into the picture so i am going to add this 20 newton and the diagram will look like that again increasing the total will be what minus 80 beyond b point there is no any additional load that means now the shear force will remain constant when i will move from b to a so for a region b to a the shear force will remain constant and that will be minus 80 value so line will be horizontal line when i am reaching at point e the magnitude is minus 80 if you will calculate the reaction of the given problem the reaction at the support will be what it will be in the upward direction and if you will calculate the reaction will be equivalent to the total load acting on the beam and the total load is what the total load is 10 plus 18 plus this 8 into 4 and the 20 that will again the 80 value so my reaction will be 80 in the upward direction ultimately it is going to be balanced by this value so finally the shear force diagram will close here if even you are not calculating the reaction don't worry whenever you are making a shear force diagram for the cantilever beam at the end you supposed to close the shear force diagram so this is the entire shear force diagram for the given case after making the shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram my bending moment at point d will be what the load is of 10 newton but i am interested at point d itself that mean i have to multiply zero and the bending moment at point d will be zero after d let's i am interested to find the distribution of bending moment for a region d to c so what i will do i am going to assume a distance of x1 and i will write the expression for the bending moment of x1 which is actually up to point c so it will be what minus 10 into x1 newton meter is the expression for the bending moment and this expression is valid till point c at point c the x will become what x will be 3 meter so my bending moment at c will what minus 10 into 3 that is the 30 newton meter minus let's draw the bending moment distribution simultaneously so this line is representing the beam at point d the bending moment is zero when i am reaching at point c the bending moment is increasing and you can see here that this is a linear expression where the bending moment is proportional to x that means this will be defined by a line with some slope beyond c i have to again consider one x kind of expression so this time i am ignoring the previous x expression and i will write again that let's this is a distance and again i am saying it is an x2 value so when i will write the bending moment expression for the x2 distance i am going to consider this 10 newton this 18 newton as well as this much uniformly distributed load so my expression will become what 10 into x2 that is minus then 18 but what is the distance of this load 18 from the point of interest that is here so ultimately i am interested to get this distance and this distance will be what x2 minus 3 so the 18 is going to be multiplied by 
x2 minus 3 and why i am putting this negative sign please understand the load is acting in the downward direction and you are taking movement toward the left side so it will be going to give a clockwise movement therefore i am taking negative sign here itself as well as i am taking negative for this two term in addition to these two term i am also interested to find the bending moment because of this much uniformly distributed load and why i am so doing so because once i will get this expression this expression will be valid till point b so the entire uniformly distributed load will cover when i will put x is equal to 7 but what will be the expression for the uh, bending moment for the uniformly distributed load and that we can understand that in case of a uniformly distributed load the bending moment is defined by w x square by 2 and now what is this w and x square suppose this is a udl of intensity w newton per meter in my problem this w is what this w is 8 here but here i am just explaining in a general form so i am saying that the udl is of w intensity and i am interested to find the bending moment for the x distance only that means i am going to consider only this much load and what we can do instead of taking uniformly distributed load we can convert this udl into an equivalent point load and the magnitude of point load will be what w into x and what is the distance now so we know that we are going to assume the entire load as a point and that will be center of this line center of this x distance so this distance will be what this will be x by 2 that means now i can simplify and say that wx is the load and the distance is x by 2 so what would be the expression of bending moment for distance x it will be wx into x by 2 that is wx square by 2 so please remember whenever we are solving a problem and we are dealing with the uniformly distributed load the expression for the bending moment will be wx square by 2 but please remember once you will cross the region of uniformly distributed load for example now after calculating the uh, bending moment for this region suppose you are interested to find the bending moment for this region in this case it will not be no it, it will no longer be a udl what we will do instead of the udl i am going to consider that this entire load will be a single point load and suppose this distance is a so this load will become w into a and this is a by 2 so based on this philosophy i will calculate the bending moment for this region which is beyond udl because we are having a region a to b where the udl is not acting only a point load 20 and beyond that there is no any additional load so as i am saying that the expression for the udl will be what minus w is 8 here x square by 2 but what is my x value my x value in this case will be only this much length so i am going to write here it will be minus 8 and x2 minus 3 square by 2 this is the expression for the bending moment and that is valid till point b so when i will reach at b my x2 will become what x2 will be 3 plus 4 7 so when i will put this 7 in this expression i will get the bending moment at point b and the value will be minus 206 newton meter but what would be the distribution whether it is again a straight line like this or something different so you can see here that this term is not a linear term that means the distribution will be not a linear distribution it will be a parabolic distribution but here you should remember what would be the shape of the parabola we have seen it in previously so let's first consider that now your magnitude will be 206 so suppose this is a point where the magnitude is defined as the 206 d2b so it is a parabolic distribution and it will be like this only so let's this point is here so this is the parabolic distribution of the bending moment and this is a linear distribution here you should remember that your parabola will be in a concave form not in the convex form because sometimes you will consider that this line is coming in a straight way and then 
this is a parabolic distribution no it will not be the case please remember that whenever you are having a parabola it will be a concave parabola and why it is so you can cross check in my previous video where i have shown that the slope of the bending moment curve give the value of shear force based on that philosophy we make the parabola and that will be of concave nature so this is a parabola and this is a line beyond this again i will consider one x value but this time instead of considering the uniformly distributed load i will ignore the udl and instead of udl i will consider a point load of value 32 and this distance is defined as 2 so now i will make the uni uh, the bending moment for these four loads so the expression will be for this region x and that will be what bending moment for x will be what minus 10 into x minus 18 into x minus 3 minus 32 into x minus 5 because this this is the 5 value and the total is x and then last is the 20 so i am interested for this distance which will be what so minus 20 into x minus 7 this is the expression that is going to be valid till point a and when i am reaching at point a my x will become what my x will be defined by the entire length that is 9 so when i will put 9 in this expression i will get the bending moment for my last point so it will be bending moment for a will be 366 minus newton meter please cross check the magnitude there may be a calculation error but i believe this is the right value so the bending moment at point b a will be minus 366 but again the distribution will be a linear distribution this is a very important problem because when you were working within the uniformly distributed load the expression was a function of x square so we have made a parabolic curve but here again the entire expression is a function of x only that means it will be just a line straight line and the last value is what 366 newton meter and conventionally we are going to close again the bending moment diagram so this diagram is going to be closed and this is the entire bending moment diagram for the given problem i believe after solving this entire example all the concept of a cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load with a point load for shear force and bending moment will be clear to you even though you have problem you can watch my previous video you can ask question on my youtube page i will try to give you answer of your queries thank you